Hi, this is Melissa Solis with Premium Productions. We are here today at the City of Gulfport's 4th of July Celebration Car and Truck Show. This annual event includes this car show, street vendors, live bands, and in the evening, a fireworks display. In this video, one of our judges, Judy Pariso, will be explaining how Premium Productions judges the vehicles attending our shows. Judy will be taking you through the finer points of looking at the subject vehicle, not with the proud owner's eyes, but the trained judge's eyes, searching for what's possibly wrong, as this is how the judges separate cars so close together in scores. Our judges often comment after a show that if only that owner had just detailed a little better or done something about a worn place on the driver's side seat. And yes, it often comes down to something that seemingly trivial which can subtract a vital point or two from the final score. So now let's meet our selected vehicles and their owners. We're here with CJ. He's got an 84 El Camino and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. I understand that this is an everyday rider. Yes, I drive this every day of the week. I, uh, I'm maintenance man at the Willows condos and I haul dirt and flowers and plants and stuff in it. And I put a towel down first, but uh, this is a daily driver, yes. And so how long have you had your daily? Uh, we've had this for about three years now three years. We bought it on eBay. Well, that's interesting. Is this the first one you've bought on eBay? Uh, no, the second one. I bought in Lincoln one time, but uh, we always had El Caminos in our life and we found this one on eBay and you only go around once, so here we go. Flew to Tulsa, Oklahoma, signed the paperwork on the hood and drove it straight home. Never skipped a beat. So what brought you to the car show? I've been down here last year to the one in Gulfport, and uh, we were at the show in Pasadena. And I, this is no plug, but I do like going to the premium production shows because they're fair, they do a good job, and they put on a good show. So here we are. You meet a lot of nice people, good people. Uh, I belong to an El Camino Club, National El Camino Owners Association, and uh, just a good group of people in Florida alone. We go to uh, Super Chevy with 25 El Caminos, and it's just a good group of people. So, something to do. All right, very good, CJ. I'm going to have you step back with these gentlemen. I'm going to introduce myself first as Judy with Premium Productions and I'll be judging your vehicle today. Well, thank you. I'm gonna begin with your engine compartment, do exterior and then interior, and when I'm finished, I will go over any little pointers Super. I have for Super, I've always okay. wanted to talk to people All like right. you. All right, well, we're here for that reason, okay? <laughs> so I'll do my thing, and when I get back, I'll talk with you. Great. a few things I found on your vehicle and we'll begin with the engine department. Okay, okay? good. And I take into granted the year of the vehicle, understand that, okay? Um, your frame has a lot of rust issues, of course, down here on the lower frame unit and see by the block here, down okay. here where your main mounts are. Okay. They are, your firewall is good, your houses are pretty good. You might want to use a little black up on those, that's okay. all I noted. Okay, I'll do Other that for that, wire grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> now you need to do that all the time, okay? Oh, okay. And around your battery, you're good here, you might want to clean up. You've got a chip here in your covers. We don't know if that, and you've got maybe clean out your pan okay. a little bit. And this area here is good for the age of the vehicle, a little spotting in here. You might want to take a little black paint and touch that up. 
And that's good. You scored good under I'll there. I'll do that. Good. Okay. Exterior of the car. Your chrome, of course, given again the year of the vehicle, you got the, the a couple of dents on the side panels where the chrome comes down over here. Down here, your misfit on your alignment of your chrome from panel to panel. Okay. And um, windows. Um, your glass is very clean, but your rubber seals that go around, you can see you might want to take, I use uh, black tobacco okay. by Mother's. So okay. Just put some of that on there. It gives it that moistness sure. it needs. I might. I better. They're okay. brand new. And yeah, if you start with it now, then it won't sure. deteriorate sure. any further. And I know they're bad, but around here in your chrome on the interior. I was thinking take, of replacing that. Yeah, you might want to do that because it's going to be hard to bring them up unless you use that um, wool stuff on the little like, brush. Yeah. yeah. But that's all under there. It's easier to replace them. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> your interior is immaculate. I know the seats are new. You might want to look at replacing your seat belts. I, I just found a place online that taught me how to wash them. Okay, do that. Simple green. It's minimal, but it is sure. a, it is a, a judging item with us. Sure. And other than that, right down here, if you look, didn't vacuum in the corner there. Okay. And that's all a little. It's my wife's job. That's her job. <laughs> but uh, your matting and your flooring, the car, everything is good. Your dash is good. Council steering wheel, everything is awesome. So you scored very well on well, interior. Well, thank you. Okay. Any questions for me? Well, you've answered just about every one I had because I've been curious. I've watched oh, your people walk around and work and everything, and yeah. it's, uh, I was going to ask today until these guys came up and offered. And right. Holy cow. It's Perfect. Good. I'm, I'm glad it helped. I, I love your boat. Thank you. Me too. We'll have to go out on it some okay. evening. Very well, sir. CJ, it was a pleasure. Yes, it really was. Thank, Thank you. you. You're very welcome. here with Mike Sherman from Bradington. He's got a 97 Lincoln. And Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's all redone. Um, started off as a plain white car, and I took it and repainted it. We rebuilt the engine, the transmission, the exhaust, the wheels. We put Lambo doors on it, redid the hood, and just about everything you could think of we've done to this car. How long have you had it? About three to four years. And what made you decide to change the color of it? Well, we had trouble matching the pearl on the bumpers. And because we couldn't match it where it meets the front of the car here, it would be two different colors. So I always liked black and yellow and decided racing stripes on a Lincoln. Who else would have it? You know, So that's what I did. It was a good choice, good choice. Now, I did notice that we've got some champagne in the, uh, in the car. And I was just wondering, are you willing to share? Uh, it all depends on the lady. and. We have to wait till tonight. <laughs> I noticed we have a Cobra theme going on. Can you explain a little bit about that? Well, the car came with a Cobra engine. It's got the 4.6 Cobra engine, just like on the Mustang. We just upgraded it. We put a supercharger on it. I've got an intake from a Cobra. I have a Cobra on the ground that matches it. And it's just uh, my Lincoln Cobra. Understood. Unique, but very nice. Thank you. I found on your car okay. and there's nothing to pick you apart to see you know next time if you come to one of our shows at what we're looking for how no we problem. judge okay okay under your engine compartment 
You have a lot of sand going on down here in the body battery box frame and on the frame of the car here. You've got it here and here. Those are little things that we see and they can be, as you know, <laughs> it comes off. Just so you know next time. Um, same thing around here. I don't know if that can be repainted or touched, but you got a lot of just powder coated. So yeah, it's okay. Okay, just so you wouldn't didn't get knocked for it, just so you know. Um, some of your hoses have a lot of dust on them. Those could be just wiped off a little better. And, you know, a little, um, I myself use Mother's Back to Black on them. It yes. gives them a little glaze. Well, they were clean earlier That's today. That's it. And then um, the hood underside, I know these mats are hard, you know, to do anything with. You might want to look at replacing it. But other than that, your paint, no nicks and stuff, you're good there. Okay? So you scored really well under the engine compartment. A above average for me, okay? Okay. Outside, you do have some chips in your paint. You know, existing water spots there that could have been wiped out. And that's just human error, and I do it myself. And the only other thing... I wasn't uh, there when I got here this morning. I bet somebody was drinking a beer. That's a very good possibility. It, it this happens. Morning. Yes, it does. And other than that, um, I know it's a pain, but up in your wheel wells here, you could just clean those out a little better. That would be great. And that was all for the exterior. Again, you scored above midline okay. in there. Interior, I know a lot of stuff blows in, so I didn't mark you on it, but there is some spotting on the carpet going on that you might want to address. And on your driver's seat, the spot there, if you see that, you want to go that's to the other side. That's in the leather. In the leather, I yeah. thought so. Yeah. And other than that, uh, that's all I wrote on there. On the interior, your dash is good, your council is good, your steering wheel is good, headliner is good, which has got, you know, the open visibility, and it's all in excellent shape. All right. Well, so you scored good. very good, and uh, that should get you hopefully in trophy range. I hope so. Any questions? Nope, but thank you very oh, much for so checking welcome. it. You're all so welcome. You're so right. welcome. I'll I hope it helped. So I'm here talking with Caesar from Venice, Florida. He does have a 2010 Camaro, and the title of the Camaro is Quick Silver. So Caesar, can you talk to us a little bit about your car? Yeah, well, uh, I guess the Camaro concept I fell in love with before it came out, uh, and then I started putting my pennies together, and finally when it when it came out, I ordered one, and I, I felt like I deserved it after hard years of work, and uh, and this is kind of a kind of a pet, kind of a companion, uh, whatever. My wife knows where I am when I'm not with her. I'm with the car, so. Uh, but I have a lot of a lot of fun, really, uh, just, you know, fixing it up and whatever. And then I, I fell in love with car shows. I started going to car shows and really just uh, talking to people who love cars, and it's amazing how much they have in common. And so this is not your first premium productions car show? No, I go to as many premium shows as I, as I can. Uh, in Venice, uh, I go down to Fort Myers, Punta Gorda. Uh, in that area and uh, you know, a few up here in this area. Uh, my ultimate goal is to go to the one in Plains, Georgia because I'm originally from Georgia. And they, have, they host a show in Plains, Georgia, which is the only out-of-state show they have. So uh, I'll get to that one next year. A scheduled conflict this year. I didn't, couldn't get there. So. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. They'll be there next year. So um, you have been to quite a few of the car shows. Which, uh, which one is the farthest one you've gone to? I guess the furthest south I've gone to was Asteria. I think Asteria just below Fort Myers. And uh, I went as far north as uh, I think up in uh, Brandon. I went up in Brandon. Uh, but in between, I go as, as many as I can. Talk to me a little bit about the colors of your car. They're a little unique and okay. uh, I'm just interested. Well, that, that's good because I have yet to see one on the road with this com combination. Uh, and uh, I, when I was deciding what to get, my wife said absolutely not red. So that's crossed off my list. Uh, black is a little high maintenance in terms of keeping it clean or whatever. And I noticed all the, the promotional uh, pictures of Camaros were silver. I said, okay, all right, let me have something else. So I kind of toyed with the, the stripes and everything and came, finally decided on the Inferno Orange rally stripe. I figured, okay, not a lot of people are going to pick this out. And like I said, today I have yet to see one in this color combination. And then I kind of have this affinity for orange, being born on Halloween and, you know, loving orange so I started to accessorate with orange and everything so found some matching paint and some decals that uh, a guy in Bradenton does for me and uh, and went from there.
the hood. Just so you notice, and I found some on here, and you can do it anytime you get. Gotcha. Okay. Right there, it comes off. All right. So just pay a little more attention to houses that are visible to you because mm -hmm. you're dressed so nicely. But the ones that we can see because the remainder are hidden with right. your address, we will look at them harder. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And just a little bit under the hood underside, if you would concentrate on, you know, removing these little marks here. Yeah. There's okay. a wax out there that takes it off. It's called Formula 115. And Formula it's just 115. on a towel and it takes it off. Okay. That's if you have correct. any questions, let me know and I'll, I'll get with that later with you. Okay. Exterior of your car is very beautiful. You do have a couple of chips. Yeah. Um, you know about them oh, absolutely. on the rear side there? Yes. Okay, just a couple of them. Yeah, one the garage door came down on them. Okay, <laughs> and up front here you got maybe yeah. one there. Yeah, a few on the side. Well, yeah. and here's here. Yeah, mm -hmm. just so you're aware that we oh, do yeah. notice that mm -hmm. and pay attention to that. And then also on interior, probably blow in on your mask, but I do see some stop okay okay and your other seat on that side uh driver's side particular has a lot of wear on the side where you slide in you can see i mean it's not torn but yeah my wife pointed that out to me yeah it's, it's eventually it, going to become an issue for you or something like that. and that is basically it on your car okay. it's a very very clean car and you scored very high well thank you, you very much very well thank you very so much. i really appreciate it i appreciate that any I'll questions feedback. oh just great feedback okay good okay. good this is melissa solis for premium productions Thank you to all of our participants and to Judge Judy. Now that you have an insight into how we judge our shows, join us at our next car show and good luck to all.